Hello guys, welcome back. So we're mid-April slash late April. Um, and the weather's starting to get better, which is good. So hopefully I can get some mowing done soon. And potentially film that with obviously making the bales and silage. The pit silage will be... Um, the first two fields will be the two down them. The two small ones. Don't really need anything big. And if I do, I'll just use the one up there. Not much has really changed elsewhere. The sheep uh, are all happy there. I've got one bale left. Um, and I want them to finish what's in their trough before I give them this bale. So when this bale runs out, hopefully we should have some more um, when we make them. Then we have the muck still here. Nothing's changed. Cow shed's still empty. Cow's still up in the field. Um, we have had some bad weather. Um, well, it's been good, then bad, then good. Um, so I'm hoping from now on it'll be good. Um, but obviously I need a bit of rain for the grass to grow because we don't want it to be too dry. Then I've got the 8340 uh, on the Keenum. Just sort of gave her a check over, really. I'm not really a mechanic, so I wouldn't know what um, needs to be changed. But obviously I just checked over the belts and everything. Um, she looks fine. Um, nothing, no problems, which is good. But obviously she's just been sat under the shed. Um, so obviously I was just using the bucket. Then the cows are out in the field, so I just thought I'd give her a check over. So I have rang her as well, so she's still working. Um, I've opened up in here as well, so we just had a look at the belts and whatever. And everything seems to be fine, so it's my first time sort of having a big slash expensive ish uh, feed mixer, so I don't really want to have any too much problems because obviously a lot of money um, could be lost into just fixing this. Hopefully, nothing's happened yet, so hopefully, nothing will happen in the future. So, we will. I'll just turn around here in the shed because we actually have space. Uh, so, yeah, so the plan is for the straw, uh, sorry, for the wheat fields, um, we're going to make straw bales. Um, one field we're going to sell and one field, depending on how much we get, we will keep. Um, I am hoping to get at some point a straw blower so we can bed down the cows and, out and buy straw. But we'll see how that goes. Um, it's not urgent, um, just saves me doing it by hand. But I'll see it's another piece of kit to sort of but with now I can't see where the wall is so I'm just having to assume that I might hit it and having to realign myself but this is a very small yard for a feeder like this but we've done it I guess um, so I'll just wait for the there you go let's hop out It's on an angle, but it'll be fine as long as it's not touching the shed. It'll be fine. Or damage the shed. So, yeah. I'm hoping with the better weather, um, the grass will start growing, which it has grown a bit. And same with the wheat, it's grown a bit since the last vlog. So, hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we can have everything done in time and hopefully we don't have anything in the way that's going to stop us from being able to there shouldn't be um but hopefully i have checked over most of the kits just the tractors really to check over but as you can see the grass is quite long um compared to the one down the track which is good to see not fully grown yet but at some point it will be then here, this is the same as uh, this field, but this is the main bale field. 
Um, I don't know, it just seems to be a perfect size for it. And I still haven't regretted making that sort of small wheat field. I thought I would regret it at some point, but I haven't. I'm actually glad I did it. Because I'd probably plant one of the two fields down there as wheat. And they're quite tight to get down with a combine or anything really. I've also been checking the combine header. Um, yes, it's on the trailer. It's got a couple scratches, but obviously it's an old combine. I bought it fully restored with the trailer and header. So, obviously a little bit of paint wear isn't going to do much. Um, obviously it's a combine harvester header as well. So, it's bound. And they're quite old, so they're bound. Obviously that was from the summer. But it's bound to have some sort of scratches on it, which I don't really mind as long as it still works. It could be rusty, for all I know, and I don't care as long as it works. Obviously I will get a proper mechanic to look at the whole combine itself. Because um, obviously I don't know what to check and whether it's good or not. Um, but I'd say it looks in good condition, but doesn't mean it is. And obviously this bit's been exposed to the weather because it's not quite under the shed. And I'll have and have I'll have and take a look at this uh, header. Not really the trailer doesn't really need it. Obviously the bolts seem to be fine, but yeah, I'll just have and have a look at everything just so because he'll probably have an idea of what is needing to be done and I don't really know much about common harvesters I'm not an expert I'll be honest so hopefully we can get out this out at some point even if it's not being used we can get it out and just take it for a little run or even just let it sit in the yard and run for a bit just to get it going because it hasn't started since last year which was August time when we were harvesting or September so it's been a while um, But yeah, it's a perfect uh, combine for our farm, I'd say. I couldn't fault it. Obviously, yes, it's old, but it doesn't really matter. It still, still works, and that's all I'm worried about. Their water has been topped up as well. Um, so, yeah, not much really going on, just um, a few things. I don't know what to do with these because I've got two of them and one of them's full and I think that one's more full than that one because this one's in front, I'm not sure though I kind of need to get rid of them, or one of them at least because I don't need herbicide in my yard um, or I could, I, yes I could use it but by the time I go around to next year or later on this year when we're spraying weeds I don't think I'll even, they'll be whatever is left in the other IBC and a bit of one of them. So I don't reckon I'm going to be able to use all of it, even with the two sort of fields we have. I reckon that one's going to stay and that one's going to have a little bit left in it, but it depends how much is in it. But I feel like if I give it to someone, I don't know, and then I'm going to be like, oh, I could have used that and now I've got rid of it. Um, so I'm going to keep it for now. It's actually not a bad spot because I can still get to the diesel tank and it's sort of out of the way. I would like to at some point maybe get rid of this, just this section of wall so we can actually have a bigger space. It's quite tight trying to get it through here. Um, and especially with the gate opening this way, I don't really mind but it's just a bit tight with this here. Um, but yeah, so nothing really interesting um happening no field work um which hopefully will start happening soon also the pallet is still here in the grass and the weight is and the wash but it's still here in all well it was in all the grass um this grass was not here this is seemed to extend it through the concrete which shouldn't have really happened but i don't really mind it's a farmyard, it's going to look messy. 
But yeah, this weight, it's not really used much, but it's handy to have just in case, because that tractor is only small-ish, and it's not going to last long with no weight on the back. So yeah, so... I'm hoping in the next couple vlogs we can have a couple more stuff going on. Um, hopefully with field work. And even if within the next two or three vlogs we could have some mowing going on, that would be good. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. Bye for now.